Hello, this morning I got a call from uh, uh, an orthodist in Georgia that watched our video showing some of the topics that we're going to discuss. And he asked about using Microcell Puff for inner boots and said he'd been wanting to try that but hadn't been able to get uh, a good result. So I told him that I'd post a video online to show him how we do it. Uh, Microcell Puff makes wonderful inner boots, uh, very lightweight, inexpensive, very effective, strong, and durable. Uh, and it's really a they're really very simple to make, much easier than some of the other materials that we work with. Uh, depending on the size of the child, we use either quarter or three sixteenths microcell puff, 35 durometer. And what we do is we use a large piece, and this is a two-man operation, and we're going to show it in real time here in just a minute. But basically, what we do is both uh, two, two technicians will, one will pull it out, one will be up top, stretch the foam this way, and then another person at the foot stretching the foam this way to get all of the material bunched up on the dorsum of the foot. Now you have to stretch it pretty much so in order to get all of the wrinkles out, and that's okay, you start with a thicker material, so you end up, this will end up about 3 sixteenths, perhaps a little less. But if you cook it too hot, say if you're cooking it at 380 or 400, when you get that stretch, you're gonna tear the material. So optimal temperatures are are between 325 and 350, uh, 360 at the most. Just you got to be careful. Once you start getting hot, you're going to tear your material. But it's pretty inexpensive. So both grab and vacuum. Or they both grab and stretch. Once it's stretched and all the wrinkles are out and we got a good shape, the person up top will then hold all of the material with one hand while the other person runs the bag up his arm. Then he'll come around and grab it again here while the person up top seals it and then he'll grab this and hold it while the vacuum pulls and what you need is a good tight line in here so that you can get a very narrow opening uh, and no wrinkles. If you get wrinkles, heat it up and do it again. Don't use the same piece of puff more than twice. It starts getting a little too firm and brittle uh, when you cook it uh, more than uh, twice. So uh, in real time now we're going to show uh, our techs work their magic. And uh, here goes. Okay, these are our technicians. Just to introduce them, Chris, he's my lab manager. He's also a CPED. I don't let him work as a CPED because he's too valuable in my lab. And Justin Darm, who's teching for us now, he's going through school to become an orthodist process. Just about finished his four year degree. Materials ready. Here we go. All right, as you can see, they're just getting a good stretch, getting all the wrinkles out once they get it where they want it. Put that bag on, and you got to hold your position. You have a lot of work time with Puff, really. You've got, you know, a good 60 seconds to get vacuum on there. And we always uh, tie it off before we open the vacuum because uh, the vacuum goes quick. And there we go. Oh, there's a little wrinkle, so what Chris did was uh, closed off the vacuum, worked the wrinkle out, and uh, push it out. And you can do that. And you may find when you pull it off, you'll see wrinkles in inopportune places. And just do it again. It's not that tricky. And uh, that'll take about three or four minutes to cool. And we'll show you the finished product here in, well, in your time, just a few seconds. Okay, so here's our, our puff inner boot. Everything looks fine, The uh, no wrinkles. You see all the bunched up material, that's what you gotta stretch out of the way. Then you just cut off the excess, just run right along your, your seam there. Get rid of all this extra garbage. And then you get the height that you're going to want. And I'm not going to finish this off, but just you, you get the idea. So we've got a nice tight seam here, okay? And let's say this is our height. We'll go back and we'll grind that flush. And then we'll skive all this and blend it in as far as we need to. Match it up with where we want it, where we've drawn our finished, our trim lines on there. Just make sure you skive this area. You don't have to worry about this just yet. 
What you may want to do though is put a cutting strip across here, across the dorsum of the foot, so that when you cut it off with a cast saw, you don't mess up your inner boot. We'll just use a piece of half inch puff, and we tend to heat it and just kind of hold it, form it, and uh, till it cools, and then put a bag over it so that you don't scar up your inner boot when you cut it off. If you scar it up when you cut it off, pull another one. It's simple enough. But anyway, very simple, very effective, very durable material. We've never had to replace one before the child outgrew the AFOs. I've used them on adults also. Not so much, but all right. Hopefully that helps you, and uh, try them. They work out great.